Number 6. Bubble CPAP for Increased Lung Function in Premature Babies Underweight and frail, early deliveries are susceptible to a number of issues. Premature babies often require specialized care upon arrival, including ventilation for those with Infant Respiratory Distress Syndrome, or IRDS. Neonatologists have been exploring the use of bubble CPAP or B-CPAP in the delivery room and as a primary mode for respiratory support of all premature infants in respiratory distress in place of mechanical ventilation that is associated with lasting lung injury. B-CPAP is a non-invasive ventilation strategy providing continuous positive airway pressure to maintain lung volumes during exhalation. A mixture of humidified oxygen is delivered through infant-sized nasal prongs and pressure is maintained by immersing the end of the expiratory tubing in water. Gas flow generates bubbles under the water, causing oscillations of the water level and subsequently of the pressure delivered to the patient. An infant on B-CPAP receives a fluctuating rather than a constant pressure, adding to its effectiveness. Compared with mechanical ventilation and tracheal intubation, B-CPAP minimizes physical trauma and stimulates lung growth when administered over a prolonged period. Given its chronic lung disease reducing capabilities, BCPAP allows the growth of strong children with lungs full of life. This is Dr. William Morris, and joined with me is Dr. Ali, Department Chair of Neonatology, talking about number six, bubble CPAP for increased lung function in premature babies. Dr. Ali, can you tell us a little bit more about this procedure and why in premature uh, infants is this so important? So premature babies, uh, in general, they are very vulnerable to have lung disease or lung insufficiency, and they needed support. And for the longest time, we used to intubate these babies and put them on ventilators in order to support their breathing. However, we discovered that the damages occurred due to ventilators are actually causing harm to these babies and a significant number of these babies will end up having chronic lung disease. So in national statistics, around one third of premature babies in the NICU with a birth weight less than 1500 grams will have chronic lung disease. The use of bubble CPAP, which is basically a non-invasive uh, machine. It is not really a machine, it's a more of a, a setup where a small prongs attach it to the baby's nose and it does not require any device and uh, using the flow coming from the gas flow and the tip of the tube at the expiratory side is immersed under the water causing this kind of bubbling. So there are studies that show that this actually stimulate the lung to grow and also minimize the injury occurring to the lung. And the, the chance for these babies to have chronic lung disease is much more decreased. The, the issue is when trying to use other types of CPAP, not the public CPAP, the, the studies, number one, needed machines that could be expensive to be used. And number two, could not reproduce the same success as with the public CPAP. And so with the advent of the bubble CPAP, when do you see this becoming and being adopted as a gold standard? So I see it, it, it will take some time. Uh, however, there are studies that start to appear uh, showing that it is efficacious and it is reproducible. And there are we are now receiving more and more uh, requests from different neonatal units that are trying to reproduce the same thing. It requires some orientation and training for staff at the bedside to make sure they are doing it correctly. Uh, and in the next few years, possibly, we'll see much more use of it nationally. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Ali, for sharing this important innovation for these patients in the acute stage, but also in their future life. Thank you. Oh, thank you.